Okay, this might be the most popular car from the 2017 Hot Wheels G case. It is the Porsche 934 and a half. And uh, this is a piece of auto racing history right here. Porsche 934 and a half. So this was produced and uh, say produced, there were only 10 of these made, uh, but this was made by Porsche and in some cases uh, these were modified uh, 934s but in the case of Porsche they made 10 of uh, these 934 and a halfs in 1976 to 1977 and uh, it was all a result of the regulations and uh, everything that goes into the different classifications of auto racing uh, so they felt like to get a leg up uh, in their their class that they were in with the 934s that they should add some of the uh, body kit parts from the 935s um, although they couldn't go full out 935 or they would not uh, fit into the same category anymore uh, so the 935 was a different category altogether so they took some of those parts and they modified these 934. So not a whole lot of these were made. Uh, as a matter of fact, only 10 of them were made. And uh, as, as a result of that, these are very hard to come by in real life. And uh, hopefully with Hot Wheels, they'll be a little bit easier to come by uh, over time. But for the time being, they're, uh, they're going pretty good on the secondary market. I'd say 8 to $10 right now. Um, but this is the G case and it hasn't been out for very long. Uh, most retail places have not seen the G case yet. So as this one is starts to appear on the shelves, I think it will be become uh, easier to find and the, the secondary market value will probably go down a little bit. But I still think this is going to be a pretty popular car. Uh, so some of the aftermarket additions to this are the fenders, uh, the fenders that are you see extended there, uh, especially in the back. Those fenders come way out and you've got some uh, air vents there on the side as well. Uh, the spoiler, this oversized spoiler back here, that is another addition uh, that came from the 935 as well as the larger back window back there. Um, so those are a few of the things that were carried over from the 935 to make the 934 and a half. Uh, so this is uh, mid to late 70s when all this was taking place and it's a very nice car and uh, I, think, I think ahead of its time. And uh, still looks very much like a more modern Porsche would. Um, of course, you've got all the extra racing parts on it, the high performance parts, so uh, that's you know not seen on your normal factory fresh. But this is the factory fresh series because when Porsche delivered these, uh, this is this is how they came off off the line, at least the ten that they made, and I believe. All 10 that they made were actually done in white. Um, and then the, the actual racers were able to modify and paint them as they want, add their logos and all that. Um, this one has the dark gray wire wheels, uh, sometimes called the lace wheels or the 20 spokes there. So really good looking wheel on this car. I think it matches it quite nicely. Uh, saw somebody mention um, on the unboxing video that uh, they would like to add real riders to this. They've even been saving some real riders to add to this. So uh, hopefully they will get theirs soon. And uh, I would like to see any customs that any of you might do on these so that would be really cool um, some detail here it's got the painted headlights and you've got the Porsche logo right there on the front we'll zoom in where you can get a little bit better view of that 
Yep, and there's that Porsche logo right there in the middle. Let's turn it up a little bit. There you go. Even some nice detail on it. It's just hard to do on something that small. Um, secondary market value of the real thing. Uh, one of these sold a couple of years ago for uh, over five hundred thousand dollars so uh, over half a million dollars for one of these um, only ten of them were made so you're gonna have to shell out a pretty penny if you want to take one of these home thanks for watching